former Kaiser Chiefs player. Would you know what? He Kaiser Chiefs should have hired Ulokupito Mosemane as their coach. Not this coach that they have hired now, right? Yeah, uh, former coach where Golden, uh, former coach Kapule Modi, current coach where Golden Arrows. Uh, I, I wish Upule Modi something, you know what? But let's leave the wishing part. There's something that he said about Upule Modi that you won't believe what the coach says, right? You know what? It, it, it's, it, it, you hardly hear coaches of players saying this, especially when their players are leaving their clubs to another club. You hardly, hardly hear uh, people saying this about their their, 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 their their former players. But this man said it. I'm about to unpack, provided that you're interested. If you are interested, then please stick around. As you stick around, there's only one favor that I'm requesting from you guys. And that a favor is that you subscribe you like the video and you do comment in the comment section below why do you need to do all of those nice things good people well you need to do all of those nice things because doing it it does help out a lot when it comes to the youtube algorithm to promote and spread this video to as many people as possible so definitely good people the power here is in your hands please exercise that power in favor of this video speaking about exercising that power in favor of this video Aibo, you guys should have appointed Upita Musimane as your coach, right? Uh, that's quite interesting. But there's something that has been said about Ulokupule uh, Mori by his former coach that I think you desperately need to know what he says. You won't believe this, right? Where do we, where do you want us to start? Let's start with Indabaga Gahatebe. Speaking about what uh, why Kazajib should have appointed Upita Musimane. But in Umtim Kolune. Um, I'm not sure, but I think it's around that. I think um, but no, they are different, so uh, it wouldn't be difficult to to know who to, he belongs to which one, right? But yeah, he says, he said, ne, um, he is one of our, one of our top coaches. So why not appoint him? Why not appoint him when he was still a, a free agent? Says oh, but speaking to Sunday World. I mean, he has done absolutely brilliant outside the country. We have seen his uh, credential were absolutely brilliant. And why didn't they give him a chance to come back and see if he can bring that kind of a challenge that Chiefs need in our look in our football? At the at the moment, he is a good example to most of our own coaches and represent uh, represent most of our local coaches that have done well in the game <laughs> yeah nah. <sighs> yeah there's something that i need to say concerning this but whatever this guy is saying is true okay guys let's start here um the reason maybe cut chips find it found found it difficult to employ this guy uh maybe maybe i'm just thinking eh? uh because uh, he's asking to why didn't why did they why they didn't hire him I think one of the reasons why they did not hire him is simply because he's very expensive. He's got a team, he's got a, a like his own technical team, right? And uh, I'm told that their package is around four million rand a month. Uh, and we know that uh, your stingy Kaza Chiefs did not want to pay around that money. So uh, it was just quite. Um, it was very. It, was, it wasn't gonna be possible because Pizza Masimane four million rand, and then Kaza Chiefs have got a budget of one million rand. So it wasn't gonna be difficult. It wasn't, and yeah, it wasn't gonna be feasible. Eh? I'm looking at it now. I'm like, ah, it was not gonna. It was not gonna be possible because of what Kaza Chiefs are willing to spend, right? But yeah, speaking of what Kaza Chiefs are willing to spend, um. I think we need to get into this one as well. This is very important as well. Speaking about this important thing. Um he, that's another one, eh? Nine Mori. His agent look, not his agent, eh? Today yes, I'm out of order. <laughs> yeah, ne? ne? Please don't laugh at me. Yeah, it does happen. Uh look, oh coach former coach Kapule Mori at Golden Arrows has revealed something that I think it's quite interesting. And in his statement, this is what he said. OTU coach speaking to uh, Barawa Sport Worldwide. There's one thing I need to mention about Pulemode. As much as there was this confusion about him, whether whether he is with Chiefs or going to Golden Arrows and stuff like that, 
but I must respect his professionalism. I think, I think six or seven games before the end of the season, there were there were many talks about him leaving the club and stuff like that. But at the look, but the commitment was still there. He committed himself for a duration of his contract, and we we were happy. That's why we were even playing him before the before the season end. Wow, wow. So in essence, let's check something. In essence, what Qatar Chiefs have got, have got, they have gotten a very, 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 very professional professional uh, person in the form of Pulemodi, who's able to own his contract to the core, right? So those are quite interesting things, I think, that the coach or the former coach is mentioning, which I thought it is worth your attention. Nevertheless, it the, the, the statement did not end there. He continued to say a lot of things that I think they are quite important for your liking. He continued to say, Vivi at the uh, local says, oh, coach, where local? We had, uh, we had talked with the players in, the, in terms of what we wanted to achieve. We, uh, we touched on the point or we went the point on last local or uh, last look. Hey, that, that English right there. But I think we should leave it there because, uh, yeah, the English is no longer English, right? Uh, others call it in English. Others call it what, what? I, 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 I don't care. I don't give a damn. Not even a swimming pool about whatever they call it. But one thing that I want you to, I don't want to, I want to mention to you is that um it, it i like what i'm hearing about pulamori that he's been professional even to the end of his career you hardly find people that are professional to that to that core usually when players contract are coming to an end you will find them um being non-professional and blah 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 but we told a very different ball game about upule mode that he was professional till the end of his career and that's what i think we need to appreciate i'm checking something guys right uh yeah okay so this is the conclusion uh, of the whole video why didn't Kaza Chiefs appoint Upizo Mosimane? That's the question that has been asked by former Kaza Chiefs player Uha Lucas Hatebe Utika. There's something that doesn't make sense. This guy was free. And also, this guy has is, is got a proven track record. And I stated that I think it has got to do with money. But maybe you have got your own opinion. I, mean, I don't think Upizo Mosimane is not interested to come and coach Kaza Chiefs. I think he does. It's just that. Can Kaza Chips afford Upizo Musiman? I don't think they can. You know what I'm saying? Um, yeah, I don't think they can because I don't think, I think they are, these days, I think they are a little bit stingy. No, I must say that, but don't say I said it. Yeah, they are a little bit stingy these days. That's your team, anyway. No, not even these days, yeah. So, yeah, get into the comment section below, guys. Tell me what you think about all of those things. You and I will meet in the next video. But until that next video, good people, please take care.